at Trader Joe's looking at different food to get because I have none. So many options. I'm trying to find a private moment to vlog at Trader Joe's. That's not going to happen. Too many people here. Shopping at Trader Joe's is always super difficult because there's a lot of people and it's even worse when you're trying to vlog because it's awkward. I have returned from Trader Joe's and I bought some really good things, uh, all as chef me. Some Trader Joe's mac and cheese, yeah, for some food. I got this Trader Joe's pasta basil tortellini. I've had this before, it's really good. I haven't had the mac and cheese though, I'm gonna try it. I got these, what is it? Classic original watercress crackers. Oh, classic original watercress crackers. And I've had these before at office parties. They taste really good with some mozzarella cheese, you know? And then I got this tomato basil pasta sauce. Creamy tomato basil. I'm really into basil and tomato and I figured why not get that for a pasta sauce because I, I haven't been making pasta homemade and I really should. So I'm going to try this. And in an effort to do that I also got some whole wheat pasta. Penne pasta. So that's good. Uh, got some chicken nuggets because you know I like frozen to go quick things so that's good. Um, what else did I get? I got whoop, some seedless red grapes because sweet tooth is a colon and I love grapes and Trader Joe's always has really good grapes or at least their fruit and stuff or veggies I guess are good too. I'm not a veggie person but their fruits are really good and grapes are always a good go to so I got those. Then I got this Trader Joe's lasagna. It has ricotta cheese. It's called Garden Vegetable. And I think I like this because I really like ricotta cheese. So we got that. We got, oh, I'm so close. A bowl of mozzarella. Yeah, for my crackers. And maybe also for my um, pasta. So that's good. And one last thing. I got another thing of Trader Joe's Garden Vegetable Lasagna. So I think I am going to eat this now because I haven't eaten all day. It's 12 o'clock right now. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to try it. But yeah, those are the things I got at Trader Joe's. I'm sorry I couldn't really um, film a lot in there. It's I could have, I guess, but it's so awkward because that Trader Joe's is so small. And then there's it's always people inside. Luckily, the one I went to in Union Square... It's always, always pack lines out the door, but I guess since I was there like midday on a weekday, it wasn't that bad. Um, but there were still people all over the place, so whenever I tried to find a private aisle to like record and not have all my all eyes on me, I was like, I can't find one. Um, but I did try my best. Um, so yeah, those are the things I got at Trader Joe's because I had no food and I'm hungry. And guess how much all that came out to? $28. All that for $28 at Trader Joe's. I think that's not bad. Two frozen lasagnas, a um, frozen mac and cheese, a tortellini bowl, um, pasta, mozzarella, pasta sauce, crackers, grapes, and frozen nuggets. All that for $28? I think that's a good deal. Hopefully they all taste good. Just so you know Wait. what I'm wearing today. Outfit of the day. I'm wearing this black blazer that I got from Calvin Klein. Whoa. It was kind of tilted. I'm wearing this black blazer that I got from Calvin Klein. If you can't tell, it has this texture texture to it. Yeah. Which I thought was cool. And it has these like well, this little accent goldish button. Which I think is cool. Then, underneath the blazer sorry. Underneath the blazer I am wearing this, um, like, I guess what you would call it, blouse. <laughs> um, this, like, uh, silky, well, not silk, just a blouse that I got in London at Primark. And I really like the beading on it. It's really cool if you can see it. It's, like, blue. It's, like, a light, light pink, pale pink or peachy with this blue beading accent around the collar neck part. And I really like it. 
I just think it's cute. The only problem with it is that it is very sheer and the collar beading is so heavy that it's, it like does this from time to time with too much motion. So I have to keep pulling at the back to make sure it um, looks right. But I really like, um, I really like the style of it and the beading and I wear, make sure I wear my tank top my kind of almost peachy, light pink, pale color tank top or white tank top underneath this kind of shirt, um, especially if you're going to work. And um, I really like, really like this shirt aside from the beading being too heavy that it has to shrink, but it's okay. And there's a nice little claspy thing at the back. And then I'm just wearing this, um, I guess this is a high-waisted skirt. Oh, sorry, hands, get out of the way. I'm wearing this um, black high-waisted skirt. It's by a no-name. I don't know where I got it from. I think it might have been a hand-me-down of some sort. But I have that. And then I'm just wearing these stockings. Whoop. Stockings. I'm wearing these stockings with um, these black shoes. Nothing special. I think I got them from Nine West. Um, so, yeah. That's what I wore today. Super professional. And I'm also wearing a little bit of light, light makeup from, um, that I got from Sephora. And I still haven't forgotten that I need to link to, um, or not link, I need to make the video of my kind of mini Sephora haul. So I will do that too. Um, but yeah, this is the light makeup I'm wearing. I'm wearing the foundation that I got, some of the lip gloss that I got with an old lip gloss, and the concealer. I think those are the only, oh, and the lip liner. Those are the only things I really put on today. Um, yeah, that's my look.